Hi there and welcome back to this channel. Let us look at a chemostat example. Now we are told that a two-stage chemostat is operating at a steady state and is utilized for the fermentation of a substrate to product. The feed flow rate is at Q is equal to 100 liters per hour. The initial substrate concentration is 60 grams per liter. The conversion rate for each reactor is 75% and the fluid data was provided. The doubling factor is given at 4 hours. The yield of the cell concentration per substrate is given as 0 0.2. Yield of the product per substrate it's given as 0.75 and we are also given the ks as 2 grams per liter firstly we are asked to draw and label a diagram representing the entire system and we are also told to determine the product of the substrate concentration at the exit of each stage we are also requested to determine the cell or biomass concentration at the exit of each stage also to calculate the volume of each reactor as well as determining the specific rate of the production formation now what do each variable represent q or f can represent the flow Rate. X can represent the cell concentration, D can represent our dilution factor, U can represent our specific growth rate, UM can represent our maximum growth rate, Y subscript XS can represent the cell concentration produced by unit consumption of the substrate, Y subscript PS can represent the product produced per consumption of the substrate, KS can represent our half velocity constant, S it's the substrate, and JD or TD can be our double time. For this diagram I used MS Visio. We have two stage chemostat operating at steady state so I used two vessels to represent that. Also our S0 was given the initial subscript at 60 grams per liter. The initial cell concentration is zero. Product formation at the zero stage or initial stage it's also zero grams per liter now if we go to the first stage we'll, everything will be represented by subscript one and for the second stage everything will be represented by subscript two okay i'm going to use word here just to have a neat representation and a clear formula guidance of each step for stage one substrate s1 the equation there we are told that the conversion is 75 percent so we are going to say one minus conversion multiply by the initial substrate as zero and if you substitute everything you should get one minus 0.75 multiplied by 60 is equals to 15 grams per liter. Now for our product still on this first stage P1 is equals to yield subscript PS brackets initial substrate minus S subscript 1. We already know our values at this point so you can punch in everything and you should get 33.75 grams per liter. Now let's move to stage number 2. The equation doesn't change much. We're going to have S2 is equals to 1 minus the conversion factor that's provided multiplied by S1. If you substitute everything there you should get 1 minus 0 0.75 multiplied by 15 that was calculated and that should give you 3.75 grams per liter. Now let's go to the product still on stage number 2. P2 will be equals to P1 plus yield subscript ps bracket s1 minus s2 we already have our values calculated above so we're just going to punch in everything there and you should get 42.1875 now let us move to cell concentration for stage one and stage two the first cell concentration can be calculated as yield subscript xs bracket s0 minus s1 we calculated everything above that should give you nine grams per liter to get x2 we're just going to say x1 plus y subscript x is bracket s1 minus s2 we have calculated everything above punch in everything there and you should get 11.25 now for our maximum growth rate we are going to say it's equals to lean 2 divide by the doubling factor we already have the values there lean 2 over 4 hours and if you calculate everything there you should get 0 0.1733 per hour the specific growth rate at stage 1 can be said to be equal to the dilution factor 1 and this can be equated to um s1 divided by ks plus s1 we already have these values now they were just calculated just previously above if you punch in everything you should get 0 0.1529 we know that the dilution factor can be represented in a form of f divided by v in this scenario we are given f and d that was just calculated and f was provided if we punch in everything to get v1 for the first vessel we will get 654 liters now for our second vessel we are going to say that the specific growth at stage 2 is equals to the maximum growth rate um multiplied by s2 divided by ks plus s2 we have these values at this point and if we calculate everything we should get 0 0.11 
3. We can also represent here 2 as it is equals to the dilution factor at stage 2 brackets 1 minus x1 over x2. If we make d2 subjective to formula, we should be able to calculate everything and get 0 0.565 per time, well, per hour. We know that the dilution factor can be represented in the form of fluid over volume. Just make volume the subject of the formula and punch in your answers there for f, which is 100 liters per hour, and d2 that we just calculated, it is 0 0.565 per hour. That should equate to 177 liters. Now, if we go back to our drawing representation, we can punch in all the um, answers that we obtained and we can see that everything was calculated, including our volumes for each vessel. Lastly, let us calculate the rate of product formation. Now, for rate of product formation P1, we can equate it and say D1 bracket P1 minus P0 over X1. Punch in everything and you should get 0 0.537. Similarly, for the rate of production of P2, we have everything there and you should get 0 0.424. I really hope this makes sense. Thank you so much for watching.